Hey guys, I'm just, uh, I've just drew, customized, changed up, changed, altered, and, uh, different settings on the stream than what I used to use, so I'm just trying to make sure that, uh, I'm not dropping any frames or anything like that, and that everything's behaving nicely. Ideally, this should be a nice, uh, sort of smooth-looking 480p now, which in the past, uh, not, not so much the, uh, smooth-looking, and, you know, this is... It seems okay. Um, also appears to not be dropping any frames, which is nice. So, I think we're good. I need to take care of business. I need to take care of a couple things before I get into game. I'm going to be playing The Evil Within momentarily. However, I first would like to put a shout out on the Facebook page and to the members of the Steam community group to let people know that I am streaming. Which I'm doing now. That reminds me. I do need to check something here. That's good. Community groups, community groups, just gotta send out the thing to the group members. Alright, that's all behaving nicely. Damn, I look good. <laughs> um, anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves into game. Do, 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 do. And begin the live stream. I'm gonna do uh, just a little bit more, a little bit more uh, checking that the streams are behaving uh, early on in the stream. But, uh, then. <clears throat> then everything should be going wonderfully. So, let's just... No, no. Actually... I've lost control. does appear to be looking all right, considerably better than uh, oftentimes in the past, I'd say. All right, cool. We are dropping some frames, however, which is not good. I'm just going to hope that doesn't continue to occur. Pause my preview there. Scale this down. Can I... Can I, like, modify... Eh. No, no, no. Let's keep this. So that I can see my... dropped frame count. Alright, excellent. I'm... Oh, wait, that won't work. Okay, cool. Ready to begin now. Let me just darken the lights to make it extra, extra spooky. 
more spooky than is even reasonable. All right. Here we go. Hello, folks out there on YouTube land. Welcome back to my part, the next of my Evil Within playthrough. I'm now using my PS4 controller to emulate a 360 controller instead of my PS3 controller like I was before. So hopefully there will be somewhat less uh, screaming with frustration as uh, my controller refuses to behave correctly. My PS3 controller is just, you know, old. It's slightly busted. And let me just increase the brightness of my webcam a bit so that my face will be nice and visible even with the lights off. Not that not that I really emote that much anyway, you know, I'm not not really the hyper screaming type when it comes to playing horror games. But uh fuck it. The resolution seems wrong in game. I'm just going to ignore that though. Assume everything's fine. I think I think, think it actually is fine. No, I think the game actually reset my graphics settings. Let me just check that real quick. What was this? Um, yeah, well, that's fine. Um... Oh dear, it's actually displaying it a higher resolution than it's meant to be. That's interesting. Everything else is fine, just the uh, resolution ended up being not what it should have been. That's better. I just realized I can actually get rid of the, uh, the film grain if I want to. Which I might well do, because I'm not convinced about film grain in general. I'm just not convinced about it. Yeah. I don't remember what was going on. It's been quite a few days since I last played this. You know, the last time I did a stream, I was playing Kerbal Space Program by the request of Lars, who is a viewer. Um, and... The last time I played this game was a few days ago now, so I don't quite remember what was up. I apparently don't have very much brain juice, so I already did that. I guess I'll just return to the darkness world of horrors and see where I was at. Right, I remember that I remember being in this weird dungeon place. I right, I need to find some uh, keys, I think. I believe I had to find three keys in order to uh, open up this weird uh, elevator cage kind of looking thing. I think I got one of them already? I think. It fits. Nice. Nice. Right, I already did this before. I must have died or... Rage quit or something? Because I already did that and I opened up these side passageways. I guess something bad must have happened to me. Anyway, hopefully now that I'm using PS4 controller, I'm not going to be accidentally opening up this menu when I don't want to. I do seem to recall the purple gas. This place, yeah, I was definitely down here before. Hello, Incredible. Welcome to the Horror Zone! Always necessary to make me mash buttons. You know, there's nothing that makes a game more fun than making the player just mash on buttons. It's, it's always the height of entertainment. So that accomplished. Oh, right, I can open doors. I'm so used to video games where you can't open doors unless there's some kind of prompt on the door being like, hey dude, you can open the door that. Oh, wait. I seem to remember this being a terrible place. Don't remember exactly what went wrong in my life in here, but it was definitely something. Uh, I'm gonna say it probably has something to do with the giant, like horrible monster zombie demons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hazard a guess that uh, 
I honestly don't remember. I'm going to assume these guys horribly killed me previously. Yeah, my my uh, uni work's been pretty brutal lately as well. It's just that time of semester, you know. Dude. Can't stealth kill those guys. Flash bullets don't work so good. Um, what if I... Well, that seemed to eradicate one of his two faces. Uh, yeah, not, not risking him getting back up. So these dudes have two heads, uh, both of which I appear to need to shoot off before they go down. Interesting mechanic, I guess, you know, you're a game dev and you realize, like, yeah, you know, we design all these encounters, but then, like, the players are just not terrible at aiming and they get headshots. And, like, it ends up being too easy. And then, then I guess, like, they're just, you know, they're like, well, what if we just gave the enemies, you know, two heads? That solved the issue? Yeah, that thing's not actually dead, it's pulsating. I'm just gonna... Wait, no, didn't I just walk past it last time, and it was okay? I think I... Oh, man! I guess not. I... Wow, okay. I guess it's holding, like, a trap. Stuffing a trap from murdering your life horribly. Oh, wow. Well, back here again. At least uh, that... I do prefer it without that film grain, so that's that's nice. Film grain almost universally a bad idea, I feel. But game devs are just like, yeah, we gotta have film grain. I, I, I still don't. I talked about this at length in my uh, video before the game came out about how I think the whole targeting a cinematic experience thing is really stupid. So I'm not going to rant about it again now. How are the black bars treating you? Oh, the black bars, I, like, I'm kind of used to it. I really wish they weren't there, but, you know, I've kind of gotten used to it. I could use console commands to, of course, fix the broken-ass game, but... Nah, I gotta have the intended experience, man. Even if the intended experience is wrong! I'm gonna go the other way this time so that, you know, I'll be killed in a different manner at least. Graphics are pretty good. Frame rate's pretty bad down here for some reason at the moment. Like, sub 30, which is really weird because my computer's pretty beast. Uh, it's possible the new stream settings I'm using ended up being much more demanding than before. On the plus side, it should look better than ever previously. It should be like a nice sort of smooth looking 480p. Uh, instead of like a weird ass blocky looking 480p where it's all ghetto as fuck. I mean, it's still gonna be kind of ghetto because 480p, but it should be less ghetto. I hope. I hope. Those are some creepy face mask things. Giant. We got some giant. Uh, I can't remember what those are called. Anyway, let's listen to this audio recording. That cockroach. That sycophant. Living off me. Feeding off my work. I'll have to figure out how we got the combination to my safe. But there's no time for that now. I'm so close. No one can ever have that data. It is mine. My only way. Whoever opens that safe next had better be ready to pay the price. Huh. That was some awful voice acting. Let's move on. Good, and Critoho confirming the stream does indeed look uh, look pretty all right, which is good. I think it might be killing my frame rate in game, but that might be because of something else. I'm not really sure. And since I'm playing with a controller, I'm not that mad about the shit frame rate. It's far more annoying when you play with mouse keys than when you play with a controller. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride this right to the top. Let's see what I can uncover. In the dark zone above. Um, I've wasted my life. There's actually nothing here. Actually, just nothing. Nothing up here. You know, I was sure I was gonna have to ride this thing up because otherwise, this is like completely pointless murder device here. Like, there's no way you're gonna be killed by that. Maybe I'm gonna have to lure enemies under it in a second. 
to uh, have them murdered really hard. I like how they got a backup giant spike ceiling, I guess, you know, in case the, the other giant spike ceiling gets broken. They got this one. Always, always important to have a backup for your giant spike ceiling. Well, I'm certainly fortunate to be alive. That looks like something that's gonna, like, smash and the spiky thing behind there that's probably a little bit too dark to see on the stream is probably going to chase me down this hallway. Hello, Odin. Long time no see. Ah, here we go. There's a tripwire here. A sure sign that I'm about to be wrecked if I don't disarm the trap. Is this place? Oh, hey, look, it's another one of those spike ceilings. I wonder if they got a backup for this one, too. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, climb up here. I'm just gonna jump, put my hands over my head, and grab onto. Of course, I can't do that. What do you think this is? A game where you can move? I'm used to playing. I, I legitimately thought I'd be able to. I guess I'm used to playing. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, where you obviously, you know, you can climb things. I can climb up this. Uh, is there like a lever here to trigger? Maybe I gotta shoot those things? I kinda don't wanna waste the ammo if that's, you know, that. Ah, fuck it. Alright, now this time, there's a purpose to writing this up. Yeah! The hell is that? Ah! Right. Can we not do this right now? Fuck! Alright, everything's fine. Everything's fine. And I, as per usual, Trouble T Cat. And the greatest badass to have ever lived, killing everyone on the planet, especially zombie demon ghosts. I see you there, rat guys, running away through there. Oh, looks like a way I can go. But first, let's search these pots for any kind of anything. Nope, waste of my life. That's fine. What's what's the other way? If I don't. So I can either be a trap. No shit, it's gotta be a trap. Right, this is gonna be one of those things where that guy, when that guy falls down, this drops. Looks like there's actually another tier of spike ceiling above the first one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through the little rat hole. That seems like the best plan. Disarming traps, disarming traps. Checking my dropped frame count is not getting higher. Always important to do. <laughs> Called it. I mean, it was pretty freaking obvious. Whoa! This one's got a little bit of speed to him. The fucking the fast and the furious over here. Yet, he dies like all the others. I may need to go up there, but I'm, I guess not. I guess I'd probably go this way. Probably just a waste of my life to see what's up above that giant spike thing, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go this way. Of course! I fucking knew it based on the camera angle. Oh man, there's more coming. That ain't good. There's there's more dudes back there. Uh, I'm I'm gonna they're not gonna be able to follow me through here, right? I can just shoot them with. Oh hey, that's burn juice. Can't believe I missed that the first time. I can just shoot them with wild abandon, right? Um, that's certainly a lot of guys. Do I have any grenades? This seems like a good place to use a grenade. If I can. I want to make sure it gets, like, through there properly. That looks good. 
you kidding me? The little blue line was a lie. The little blue line clearly indicated the grenade was gonna fuck. Damn it. Uh, Alright, that's okay. Can I craft some explosive bolts for my crossbow? That would be. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. A secondary option. Alright. Can't aim that while crouching, so I'm just gonna have to. Yeah! That went well. I'm sure at least one of these fucks is still gonna get. Nope, that killed them all. Alright, nice. I'm getting pretty pro, I guess. Um, I may as well use this syringe. That brain juice? Nope, just a wine bottle. Although, I would settle for a wine bottle. You know, were it in real life. So, are there gonna be like more dudes bursting out of there when I try to open this thing again? Because I'd, I'd rather that not happen to me. Don't have a whole lot of ammo left at this stage. I'm gonna assume that that won't happen again. It was a good scare, like once. I mean, it wasn't really scary, but you know, it was a, it was a, a fun trick that one time. But if they did it again, that'd just be annoying. Good thing I was able to use my superior strategy to kill those dudes with little risk to myself. I am the smartest and best there ever was. I also very nearly died there, but I'm still the smartest and best there ever was because I didn't die. Now, I hear what sounds like bad dudes. There's very much a giant spike thing there. Um, that's like a, that sound seems to be coming from, yeah, I see you. I see you there, buddy. All right, where's the lever that's going to activate the trap? So what I would really like to do is kill these guys with the uh, the murder ceiling rather than oh, I need to, I'm gonna need to get up there. I'm guessing the lever is gonna be over there, so maybe I gotta run through and climb up on that side, and then I'll be able to pull the lever. E oh wait, is that? No, that's the bottom of the candlestick. It's dark over there, guys. All right, you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna here's the plan. Didn't fuck it up. I wasn't expecting this guy, but... Shit, I should have got on the thing when it was there. I fucked it up a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, right, I can't go back this way. Oh, wait, no, no, this is fine. I'll just, uh... Oh, do 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 see you in hell, asshole. Oh, wait! There's the thing I need, back there! Oh wait! Oh dear, okay. I made some errors. Maybe I'm not the smartest and best there ever was. As much as I thought. Nah, I'm still the smartest and best there ever was, that was a fluke. I gotta do this again, that's okay wasn't exactly the spookiest thing that had happened to me last time, so... Whatever. How embarrassing for me, though. You know, getting murdered in such a brutal manner. At least there's a checkpoint not too far back. I wonder what this tripwire triggers. Oh. Probably that dynamite. Look, I was wondering if it was going to be anything I could use to help me kill this next dude. Oh, you know, I could have used it... Ah, shit, I should have left that there. I could have just crawled under and used it to kill the horde of dudes who show up from the side. Too late for that now, though. Hello, friend. Jeez, that's gross. Could you not do that? Just don't, just don't do that again, friend. That was, that was gross. Haven't seen those guys do that one until now. I wonder how brutally that stuff kills you. I'm gonna guess pretty hard. Why have I done this? 
Is there anything up there aside from a way to kill myself? It doesn't look like it. As much as I enjoy suicide, I, uh... I guess I'd rather live at this point. Oh, do 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 This worked so well last time. Might as well do it again. Alright. I'm gonna try again with this grenade, though. Actually, I'm gonna need, I think, two explosions, so... Ah! I'll make these, but I'll try and, try and get him with this grenade this time. To conserve myself some ammo. Throw it nice and low, but I gotta make sure... Oh, wait, why don't I just crawl inside here? Then... Nope, that won't work. I'm not allowed to throw it while I'm inside there. Let's just try and get it going far enough. Come on. I want to make sure I'm not aiming high enough that it's gonna... I'm not sure that's gonna go far enough. Maybe if I bounce it off the... No. That... That surely will hurt them. Finish the job. I said, let's finish the job. Come back here, Dengus, so I can blow you and your friend. Where are you going? Where are you going, silly guy? Hey, jerkwad. What are you doing? Well, I've wasted my harpoon. Didn't go quite as smoothly as last time, but, uh, this is going okay. I'm not going to waste an explosive bolt on that guy. Let's run around and, uh... I'll just run around and, uh... Where the hell is he gone? A uh, deeper little alcove than I thought it was. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I mean, didn't go quite as nicely as last time, but that's still one all right. Now, let's move on and not tart out so bad this time. Tarting out being a leading cause of death for streamers. Pretty much anyone who plays video games, but particularly live streamers. It's really easy when you're, you know, when you're live streaming, you're trying to have entertaining commentary. You lose focus on the task at hand, and you find yourself brutally, brutally killed. Which... Kind of not my favorite thing to have happen to me. Alright, we know what to do here, so let's do it. See you, buddy. See you. Okay, now I gotta, I gotta make sure I actually get off the lift before dying this time. And then I think I need to go back down there because I'm pretty sure I'm leaving behind the part I need, which means I kind of messed up, actually. But that's okay. Oh, here, look, a big key. That's, that's nice. Uh, something weird happened to that statue. I'm just going to ignore that, though. Oh, hey, this leads back down there. Oh, all right. Everything's going so well at the moment. Uh, probably means I'm about to die really horribly. Hey, buddy, come here. Hey, dude. Hey, man, dude, come over here. Come here, you. Don't make me just murder... What? Gotta set him on fire before he regenerates his face. I think I only blew off one of his heads. Alright. Good. Good. 
Is Twitch chat losing command? I don't know. I don't usually use Twitch chat because I can just say what I'm feeling inside. No need to type. I'll be taking that. I wonder what that key I got earlier was for. That's kind of a discouraging... Oh, hey, look, there's a save point in there. Oh, I'm back. Back here. Okay. Um, let's just go and save our game before we do anything else. I got to uh, deal with my telephone. It's complaining at me. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. I fucking get it. You have a low battery. Relax. I know you're dying, phone. There's no reason to scream about it. Well, that's one half of our horrible hallways dealt with. Oh, hey. I think I can read. Chris! Missing. Chris Taylor, construction foreman, disappeared while overseeing repairs of a fallen church floor. Repairs were nearly completed, so it is unlikely he fell. Um. Okay. I remember the thing reading about the church having its floor falling in earlier. I guess that dude was uh, trying to repair it, and then... Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have seen. Did you finally embrace a smartphone? No. But my phone is still capable of running out of batteries, even though it's not a smartphone. Although it has considerably better battery life than most people with smartphones seem to enjoy. Oh, that's also probably somewhat because of the fact that I don't really use it for anything at any point ever. Nice to have some keys here. Get some, uh, get some shock <sighs> stabbers. What do we got in here? Some regular stabbers. Well. Crossbow bolts aren't really that exciting of a thing to be getting. Hey, those photographs are gone from earlier. Crossbow bolts aren't really that exciting of a thing to be getting, considering you just craft them with trap parts. Although, it's not like I have an overabundance of trap parts anyway, so, I mean... I'm sure they'll come in handy. I find the crossbow a little bit underwhelming in some respects. I mean, the explosive bullets are great, obviously. And the flash bullets are okay, but for the most part, crossbow, eh, eh. Maybe I should upgrade, uh, my pistol a little bit or something. Mostly I just want to be, you know, getting more instant kills with headshots. I don't have enough points to upgrade my crits, though. I don't think I really need to upgrade any of these... ...things. I think that's all fine. Maybe I should upgrade the damage of the explosive bolts. Uh, fire damage gets added to the harpoon bolt at level 5. That's pretty useful considering you need fire to, you know, really kill people hard. What can I get for this? Hmm. Crit chance for the sniper rifle seems like a good idea, but also not really necessary. Like, it's usually usually working for me. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep increasing these harpoon bolts, because once they have fire damage, I can see how that would be enormously useful, you know. That sounds like a kind of instant kill device, considering how little the enemies seem to enjoy being set on fire. Anyway, let's save our game and get back to the mission. Seven and a half hours in, and no sign that I'm anywhere near the end of the game. I wonder how long this thing is. Hopefully not too super long. I feel like horror games... I mean, I, I feel like they should be, you know, 12 or 15 hours kind of thing. It, like, I think that's just a good length for pretty much any genre of game to be, actually. Um, 
But like other genres, you know, RPGs and stuff can often be a lot longer, and that can be really good, because it's more of an epic quest or whatever, but I feel like a horror game being really long would probably end up getting boring well before it was finished. Probably. Just I don't want it to be more. too short. Just, just, you know, hoping it's not going to be like a billion hours long, because I think that would get pretty tedious. Anyway, we seem to be, well, not exa exactly almost done with this section of the game, but I guess two-thirds of the way. I'm assuming uh, after I get this next thing, we'll be pretty close to the end of this chapter. I wonder what the purple gas does if I stand in it instead of turning off the uh, thing. How has Beyond Earth been treating me? I've seen you've seen mixed reviews. Hang on a second. Not 100% clear on how my cat got my door open. But, uh... <laughs> there he is. Um, Beyond Earth. I... I have mixed feelings about it. I think the mixed reviews are appropriate. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff about it to like. At the same time, it, it feels kind of like... I don't know, a little bit half-baked kind of thing. I, I guess... I guess I felt a similar way about Civ Five. Uh when it first came out, though, so, I don't know. Maybe I just expect too much depth from these modern game devs. You know, it's always important to, uh, appeal to the Call of Duty audience with your turn-based strategy game. Can you not do that, buddy? It's a well-known fact that Call of Duty audience loves, loves turn-based strategy games. will absolutely play them if you just make them, you know, for that audience. And then you, you know, fucking, jeez, I just want to burn the corpse. Is that so wrong? All right. I'm not even gonna try to defuse this bomb. Every time I try to defuse these things, I end in fucking exploding pain hells, which are my least favorite kinds of hell. Well, aside from zombie demon ghost hells, now those are nasty. Hey, look, it's a uh, horrible murder device with a glowing red light behind it, but also... A grenade? I want to go over there. Can I... Can I... Is this... I have a really bad feeling about this place. Like, this room seems like... The kind of place where I'm going to be killed by a horrible trap. But... Ooh. So that's what that red light was. That's not good. Let me out. Let me out of here. Yeah, they really should add kill streaks to Civ uh, Beyond Earth. I think I'd feel a lot better about the game if I could just get sick kill streaks. Hello, Comet Creeper. Welcome to the stream. Um, it's going pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm just gonna murder these zombie demon ghosts now. Move on with my life. Stop that! You think you can be too spooky for me, but I don't give a fuck about safes. I like how they're, you know, it, it's kind of, they're building up to this enemy with the safe for the head that we saw in all the trailers, and like, I appreciate wanting to build up to, like, the reveal of, like, big enemy or whatever, but the fact that we saw him in all the trailers kind of... Hello, friend! Oh. Um. Let me control the game, please, game. Game, give me control. I'd like to. Let's just. Let's just deactivate the fucking poison gas flow. 
Jeez, that's not ideal. Um, just pick up these trap parts. Die. Okay, we gotta. Man, the uh, the gas effect looks good. That's something a couple games have gotten really right lately. Actually, that is like a lot of times smoke and sort of gas effects in games don't look that great. But um, Alien Isolation also has really nice looking. It's, there'll be like edge cases where it ends up looking kind of ghetto, but overall it'll have like these just really nice looking uh, gas effects in Alien Isolation as well. This game, they're looking good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a result of some new DirectX 11 feature or something. Or maybe game devs are just trying harder to make gas. Always used to be water. Like, you'd, you'd always, me and my buddies anyway, back in the day, we'd always be talking about, like, which game had the prettiest water. Like, that was, getting your water looking dope as fuck was, was considered a really big deal. Now it's all, like, now it's all about, like, lighting effects and... Like volumetric effects, like that fog and stuff. I think, uh. Hello, zombie friend. I don't have any bullets for that gun. Killing all the Zambos, don't care. Can I stab him in the face while he's being electroshocked? No. That's pretty fucking brutal, though. I like that. Oops, missed. Uh. Well, that's taken care of that problem. Apparently, the sniper rifle was the correct answer to my problems. Don't have very many shots for it left, but hey, that fight went nice and smooth. Let me just pick that back up. I didn't realize I could do that. Good to know. Could def try and disarm that bomb, but no. Every single time, I just end up exploding. Fucking quick time events, too hard for me. Too much of a scrub to fucking win quick time events. I mean, they're the best part of every game, you know, and I can't even play them. Really, I'm just missing out. That's a lot of skills. Mm. I got a bad feeling about this place. I got a really, really bad feeling about this place, actually. This is... This is getting spooky. For the most part, this game has not been particularly spooky, but this is this is getting a little bit spooky in here. Uh... Something bad's gonna happen to me when I try and spin this. I, I can feel it. Oh. That's not so bad. Bloody cross. That one's, that one's for the uh, Haku no Ken fans on the stream, of which I'm sure there are some. I mean, with four people watching, I'm sure, sure at least somebody will get that reference. And maybe when, maybe when it goes up on YouTube, I want to disarm this trap. There we go. I do enjoy not exploding. Actually, one of my favorite things uh, to do is to, is just not explode. Hello there, friend. Oh, game almost crashed there, I think. Oh, I'm out of matches. That's not ideal. Uh, we'll just have to go for headshots, which I do think kill them instantly. I don't know what Lords of the Fallen is in Credaho, so I'm not sure if I'll acquire it or not. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Those guys don't actually have legs. That guy is glitching the fuck out. I'm gonna guess I don't really have to fight them, because, I mean, what are they gonna do? Like, just slowly crawl after me? I'm not too worried about that, actually. Let's turn our light on so we can just see here and, uh... Oh, do, 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 do. I don't care about you guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> do I need to further develop my foresight abilities to be able to have a conversation with the QDC? I don't think so. I don't think there's too much lag tonight. I'm not really sure. 
after I'm done recording this part for YouTube, I'm actually gonna need to restart the stream anyway. I have dropped some frames, so I need to, I need, I raised the bitrate a little bit too much, is what that means. So I'm just gonna cut it back a tiny bit, and then I won't drop any frames anymore, hopefully. Uh, probably won't be much of a noticeable quality difference for those of you guys watching anyway. And I'll feel better about my life. Which, uh, I mean, hopefully it will reset any kind of delay on the stream when I do that. Which I should be doing pretty soon, actually. This part's getting pretty long for the YouTube folks. But, I mean, that's fine. They like longer parts than what I normally upload anyway. Or they claim to. The ones who post them... I notice I upload shorter videos. Those tend to get a lot more hits on YouTube. But the only people who ever comment have always said, you know, they prefer longer videos. Uh, at a certain point, I think, you know, maybe maybe you should become a slave to what actually gets the view counts rather than the people who gave enough of a fuck to comment. I don't really know. You gotta find a balance there. Now let's just go back and save before, uh, before we put in this final, uh, thing. Rock thing head. How much brain juice do I have? Brain juice count is exceedingly, exceedingly low. Not going to bother upgrading my brain at this point. Let's go ahead and save the game. And I'm going to be ending this part here for those of you watching on uh, YouTube. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, uh, yeah, so I would like to change something about the stream settings that I have to take the stream down in order to change. So hopefully I don't just atrophy all my viewers if I do that. PewDiePie does long videos? Really? I, I thought all his videos were really short. I guess I... Maybe just the ones I watched were really short. I must admit, I don't pay that much attention to what PewDiePie does because... Seeing his videos gives me cancer. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... That's probably not very politically correct. Oh wait, I don't care. Okay, so that was part 16. It looks like uh, Incredihost not getting much delay on the stream, actually, so that probably means the drop frame things hasn't really hurt me much. And also means you don't need forethought if you want to talk to me. Um, so I'm actually not going to bother changing the stream setting. It's dropping frames every now and then, but... Oh, man, it actually just dropped a shitload really abruptly. Right as I was saying, it looks fine. Ah, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just going to ignore that. I am, however, going to go get some wine. Because, I don't know. I need to kill zombies, so wine, obviously. No, I want... All right, I will be right back, folks. One moment. Oh, night out and all right. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take the stream down for about uh, 30 seconds just to lower my bitrate by like 20 kilobytes per second, uh, so that I don't drop any more frames, and then the stream will be back up. So don't go anywhere. Stream is only going down very very briefly. Oh wait.
Can I actually change this while it's streaming now with these newer versions of XSplit? Because I didn't used to be able to, but it looks like... Looks like now I can just change this as I'm going along. Huh. Wow, that's... That's cool. Alright, never mind. I'm not taking the stream down. <laughs> that's, that's really nice. Alright. Moving on. Let's uh, begin part 17 for the YouTube folks. That's the wrong camera. Uh, it seems like my webcam might be a little bit brighter than it technically needs to be. That seems... That seems like... Oh wait, no, it's only because I've got full white on my monitor when I go back in-game. That'll be a lot darker. So I will leave that alone. Hello folks out there in YouTube land, welcome back to part 17 of my playthrough of The Evil Within. The most evil evil within ever to be evil within the evil. Or something like that. Let's just save our game again, because I can't remember. You can upload your sick... I know I can upload PS4 gameplay videos directly to uh, YouTube, but... I... There's nothing on PS4 I want to record right now. I haven't been playing... I played Destiny for a while, and then I got tired of playing Destiny, so I stopped. And now there's nothing on PS4 that I'm really playing again. Ah, uh, wine. Delicious. This will help me to kill zombie demon ghosts. At an accelerated rate. Or a slower rate, probably, but I'll find it more amusing. Sad story, there was only like this much wine. Ah, oh, you can't really see, it's too dark. There was only- oh wait, if I hold it up in front of my face. There wasn't quite a full glass of wine left in the current bottle. It's just a real tragedy. Anyway, let's descend into a new level of darkness and, uh, I can always open a new bottle of wine if needed. Yeah, Destiny... Well, I'm not sad about Destiny because I wasn't expecting much from it. I did not buy into the hype in the slightest. I was unimpressed by the beta. I really didn't expect much from the game, so... I'm not sad about it. I actually... Um... Game, I wasn't standing there. I wasn't even the one... That's not my fault! Alright, let's just leave, shall we? No, 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 let's just leave, shall we? Pull the lever, pull the... Oh... Can't pull that lever. I can't go back. Oh, dude bro's just straight up gone now, though, so that's, that's fine. Let's just not step on any more of these mines. Reload my shotgun in case something I need to shotgun appears. What do I... how am I doing for... yeah, that's fine. Alright, back to the mission. Now, let's just not step on any more of these things. Oh dear. Oh dear. I fucking hate this! I'm, I'm actually just gonna... I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry to do this, but I'm just gonna... We're doing a rant mid mid playthrough slash stream. It's gonna be a short one, don't worry. So this thing where you need to run away from some shit falling behind you, and there's also obstacles in front of you, or the path turns or whatever, and they orient the camera so that you can only see the shit falling behind you and you can't see in front of you. That's bullshit. It's the worst kind of artificial difficulty. What, my character goes fucking blind when things start falling down behind them? It, it just it pisses me off to no end. Sometimes you'll be like, you'll end up like running against the wall because the path curved, which you had no fucking way of knowing. Ah! <clears throat> Sorry, I think, I think that's an adequate expression of my frustration. We'll get back to the game now. I... Ugh. Ugh, hate that shit. Hate it. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I decided to try sprinting to get away faster, but you can't turn as quickly when you're sprinting, so, um... 
was not able to avoid that mine. Ugh. Fucking backwards facing camera. It's not the worst in this game. You can see like a couple feet in front of you at least. I've seen some games where you can see literally nothing in front of your character. Uh, but, you know, in this game at least it's a couple feet, so it could be worse. I'm still mad, but it could be worse. Anyway. Indeed, Lakenda, thank you. Also, welcome back to the stream. I remember you from the olden days. The good old days when more than five people watched the stream on any given night. Actually, I did some Kerbal Space Program a couple nights ago, and that got me to like 12, 15 viewers. Apparently, that's a popular thing to stream at the moment. But, uh, tonight I'm in the mood for evil, not space rockets. Plan your route. I, I guess that's a reasonable plan. I don't need a plan. Fuck that. Hey, I, I'll read your thank you the second dude I know that I saw it and it looked amusing, but, um, I need to not die for now. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the devs are constantly locked in a room full of carbon dioxide and forced to make a decision before the asphyxiate. Listen, yeah, safe. I feel the same Where's way. Kid? That's... Kid. kid. Yeah. Is she here too? Kid. Kid. Is she alright? Is she alright? Alright? Leslie, get it out, son. Stand back. I'll get it open. Um. Oh, hey, look, a bunch of safes. I'll open in a second and just look around a little bit first, you know? Since I'm assuming when I open this thing, something bad's going to happen. Like this door, which is. Oh, I know, that's the way I came from, I think. Maybe that's the way I came from. One. No, no, I should have come from this direction. And I did. So yeah, I'm guessing the smoking door is going to do something bad when I shoot this open, but there doesn't seem to be anything around here, so... Let's do it! Oh hey, bullets! For the gun! Thanks, Leslie! Thanks for saving that shotgun shell for me. Uh... Uh... Open. Okay. No need to freak out, son. Nothing spooky's happening right now. We're just in a spooky asylum. <laughs> That's what she said. No! Wait! Dude, follow him. Leslie! Why didn't Leslie! you follow him? Leslie! No, wait! I'm not gonna stop you or anything, just wait, please. If you could. I think Sebastian might not be the best cop on the planet. Why does this shit always happen to me? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm being chased by a spooky man. This shit happens to me a lot. Should I bother shooting at him? Like, I, I really feel like I probably shouldn't bother shooting at him, but I can't... can't interact with these safes on the floor. Can't see anything else I can do in this place aside from shoot at him, so maybe I should shoot at him. Well, he's bleeding, so I mean, maybe it hurts him. Uh, made him shit out some bombs. I'd say there's a good chance it's making him mad, at the very least. Well, that worked better than I expected. All right. Uh, oh shit! No, 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 no! Do 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 do, giant man! I will end your life. Oh hey, there we go. Jesus! That was kind of gross. But he's dead now. Let us leave. Before we choke. Uh, 
Um, this is getting pretty spooky, guys. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Turn faster, you dumbass! <laughs> Turn faster! Ah! No time! I was so close to finishing it, but I would have died before... before it was over. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't... can't be in here. Can't go this way, but I already did. No, I'm, I'm screwed. This is the end for old Sebastian. I can't see shit. I'm not. I thought I'd die immediately. There might be a way out of here. No, there's no way out of here. I fucked up. Okay, so. We know what not to do. It's the important thing. We learned something. Oh, that's a creepy mask. Really? You're gonna make me do this part again? The part where I just walk around in circles shooting him? Whatever. Don't really care. Don't. Hey, easy there, killer. Careful, man. You could hurt somebody swinging that thing like that. It's a not so bad, eh? Okay, so we know which direction not to run in. I could just try and, you know, knock the guy down again, but it seems like that'd be a waste of ammo and it's not really the intended uh, thing in this section. Maybe I, maybe I do have enough time to finish spinning this and I won't die, like I was really close last time. I'm just gonna use both hands and like hammer on this fucking button as fast as any human ever could. It's like last time it was really close. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can just barely do it, you just gotta hammer really hard. Alright, now I can go this way. Ah! Yeah! Get wrecked, son! Why would you even think of that in Credaho? That kids would pay more attention if Sesame Street included sequences like... What? In Credaho, you're, you're a weird guy. I like your style. I like the cut of your jibs. I don't even know what a jib is. Uh... Ugh. Jesus Christ! Does this thing stay dead? No, it clearly it kills itself as a method of fast travel. That's kind of baller, actually. Like that's a great fucking thing for a horror game to have an enemy that kills itself in order to travel. I suicide is a method of locomotion. Not advisable for humans, but apparently this guy don't give a fuck. Anyway, I'm still slowly dying of poison, so I'm gonna try and not take too long to kill this guy. Oh, do 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 do! I am leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right. Hopefully, there's no more safes in this room. Uh, and I can now, you know. Oh, this was already open. Well, I feel that I should go the way the game is pointing me in. Oh, you jerk. You were some kind of asshole, you know that? I don't like you. Uh, is this usable? No. Whoa, wrong way. Wrong way. Ah, here we go. I remember seeing this thing before.
Okay, now I just need to do -do 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 -do. go back to the spot where I can use that. Hopefully before I asphyxiate. Remember, kids, nobody likes to asphyxiate. Let's uh, try and expedite this. That's not ideal. <laughs> Why don't I just end your life to make mine a little bit easier? It is kind of a waste of ammo, and I'm not sure I actually have enough ammo to do this, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Did you have to deploy these mines fucking everywhere? Oh, that doesn't work on those. Don't know why I thought it would. I'm dead. Oh, wait, I'm not dead. Oh, wait, I'm dead. Ooh, jeez, he got me good. He got me really good. I died hard. Oh, fuck you, game. Seriously? I can understand having sparse checkpoints in a horror game, but come on, this is just silly. I'm sick of your shit, safe guy, whatever your name is. I'm gonna call him safe guy, and he will be my friend. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna take a moment here to craft... Another one of those shock bolts. Those seem to work really well. Well, I know roughly what I'm doing this time, at least. <laughs> Zombie demon ghosts. Don't let them fist you. Hammer as fast as I can! Come on, turn the thing faster, Sebastian, you pansy. Alright. Good. Uh, is there actually any reason to come in here? I'm assuming I have to come in here for some reason. Probably like the other way is just completely shut or something. I mean, they wouldn't allow you to avoid this. Oh, right, I have to come in here to fucking turn a uh, valve, which is right here. Yes, yes, of course. The happy gas, we want to turn it off. <sighs> Man, you need some fucking upper body strength to tear your own head off like that. That dude must be ripped. This thing stay dead. Like, he doesn't look that ripped, but like apparently. Apparently he works out. Okay, yeah, so that door is closed. I do need to kill him in here. Can't just leave. What a shame. Hey, buddy. How about fuck you, guy? Alright, so if I use one shock bolt and two harpoons, that takes him down. Unfortunately, I don't have enough trap parts left to craft any more uh, bolts right now, so. That's a damn shame, Larry. Timmy. Etc. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. It means he's not that hard to kill ultimately. Those things don't do that much damage. Yeah, I wish I could sever my own head that easily, too, in Credaho. For one thing, I'd be sure to never play another game of CSGO. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to murder this guy. Like, I'm probably not gonna be able to do this while he's unkilled. Then again, I think there's just a lot of safes in this area, so maybe I am supposed to do this without actually murdering. Because I think if I kill him, he's not going to stay dead. Isn't there another way out of this room? No. No, I'm confused. There's, there's a lot of safes in here. So I'm not really sure that killing him is going to buy me. It should probably be a little bit of time, at least. He's pretty 
far away, actually. Maybe I, uh... Maybe if I just sprint over there, I can do it. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. He teleported at me. He was further away than that. I'm pretty sure he teleported closer when I started to use the fucking thing. That's fine. I know... Whoa! Just get away. Okay, there we go. Ah, there's a safe right there! I can see it! He doesn't seem to be spawning on... Oh, wait, no, here he comes. It's fine, though. Got time. Oh, seriously? The stairs down there? Sick. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I see the giant spikes. Let's just go. That ought to hold him for a time. Ah, nope, he's killing himself again. At least there's a checkpoint there. Oh, god damn it. Whoa! Easy there, killer! Can we maybe not do this? Yo, dumbass, pull the lever. Alright, that looks like a little bit more permanent of a killing. Achievement unlocked! What's in the box? Yeah, I guess he's dead. Also, just arbitrary, like, randomly a 7 reference. Now, if I know my video game pacing, there should now be like a little bit of a quiet, relaxed segment for a time to diffuse the tension after that somewhat annoying boss fight. That one was okay. I mean, the fight with the giant dog, that was lame. But uh, that, that last fight, that was alright. I don't think it's going to win the awards for like boss battle of the year or anything, but it was, it was okay. To be honest, I've just never really been that big of a fan of the boss fight as a video game mechanic. Which is, like, probably sacrilege, I know, especially when you consider all the games with, like, glorious bosses. I mean, there are some games, obviously, where it wouldn't work without it, like Dark Souls, that boss fights would just be stupid. But I feel like a lot of games have boss fights when they could have just as easily not had boss fights. Although, this game probably, probably needs them. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. But, like, I just I just hate seeing games, you know, just shoehorning in boss fights when they really don't need them. It's annoying. This game's not like that, though, to, so we're clear. I see why they have these. It's, ne it's probably necessary. Amount of wine. This is a tragedy. Not looking so good there, Seb. Well, that's kind of weird. There's been a theme lately with in between chapters, a different kind of thing. I don't know, I wasn't expecting to just be continuing immediately. But let's just try and sneak around here. Uh, it was a much better boss fight than the Capra Demon. Uh, yeah, wow. The Capra Demon, wow. Wow. Whoever designed that should probably be shot. That might be a little bit of an overreaction. Actually. These guys can't see me if I sneak in the shadows, right? I think he may have seen me sneaking in the shadows. Oh, uh, well. No, no, don't vomit on me. Whoa, what's that? That's not vomit. What the fuck is that? Ah! Jesus! Don't do that. Don't do that, alright? Just no. I'm not sure he's fully dead. I don't have any matches left and I only have three bullets. 
I should probably not even be trying to fight these guys. I should probably try and just, like, see if I can run past, because I don't have ammo left to fight. Assassin's Creed Unity, jumping on the... You know, I heard a rumor. It was from a source who wanted to remain anonymous, who worked at Ubisoft, allegedly, who said that Ubisoft was being pressured by Microsoft and Sony to lock games at 30 FPS so that the uh, next-gen consoles would seem, you know, more attractive. Uh, that seems unlikely, though, because that's a fucking insane, like, strategy. That's not going to make anyone, like, playing on PC want to buy a console or buy more games on console. It's just going to make them mad, like... I'm not convinced that that they would be quite that stupid, and there is no, you know, verification for the claim, so... On the other hand, it also kind of wouldn't surprise me, because, I mean, we've seen the games industry do enough stupid crap in the past that, you know, maybe... Yeah, there's, I'm definitely not supposed to fight all these fucking guys. Oh, maybe I am, because I need to fucking spin this crank. Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, but those guys aren't coming through. Okay, so I gotta kill these two. Move out of the way! No, let me- You assholes! Ah, oh, that's not even fair! Ah! Okay, I guess I gotta kill them all. Um, but that's gonna be the end of this part for those of you watching on YouTube, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the... Man... You release a console that's less powerful than your competitor, charge more for it, and justify it because it's bundled with something literally nobody wants, and then, like, you just make these dodgy deals so that you aren't, you know, fucked over as hard as you should be. Free market, huh? Anyway, um, I'm gonna get some more wine, and then I will come back. Don't start discussing economics in the fucking in the stream about video games. I'll be too mad if there's economics happening over there. When I get back from wine, you'd better not... Yeah. in here, so I'm gonna turn on my aircon. I hope... Is that, like, super loud on the stream, the aircon? Because I could just continue sweating my ass off in here. But I'd rather not. Uh, if it's too loud, let me know, and I can switch it off. Okay, I'm going to continue my Evil Within playthrough now. Yes, good. I don't need this open. Hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to my playthrough of the 
Evil Within. This is part 18, I think. We are continuing from where we left off last time. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try and kill all these guys this time, because apparently I have to. Do I have... Can I craft some, uh... I can craft precisely one flash bolt or one harpoon bolt. I'm gonna make the harpoon bolt. Oh, I got a couple grenades. I do have a couple grenades. Um, I think I should take this syringe. Uh, I love to take drugs. All right, try and get some kills with our nades. I don't have any matches, so when I kill these guys, I need to make sure I kill them pretty hard. Wow, he's just completely gone. Oh wait, no, there he is. He's actually not even dead. Yeah, it takes two grenades to fucking make them blow up for real. But that should have done enough damage that this guy will go down easy. Just gotta make sure I get his head. You better not be still alive down there. Fuck me, he's still... I have the distinct feeling this guy is going to be getting back up in a second. Maybe not, he should have got back up by now. He's gone until... Ooh. Alright. Can we not do that? I really don't like it when you do that. Okay. So I got six revolver bullets and a couple flash. Oh, I got that harpoon bolt left. Hopefully that'll be enough for the others. Oh, come on. That didn't kill you. You don't even care, do you? You got this giant harpoon sticking through your face and you're just like, eh, it's alright. Is that a waste of ammo? Like, usually if you don't blow their head off, these enemies get back up. Maybe this type of enemy doesn't, and I've just been wasting like fucking a billion matches. I'm beginning to think that is the case. Well, I've fucked up. I've got three revolver bullets to kill the other two monsters. That's just not enough. That is just plain not enough ammo. Hopefully... Uh, there's some shotgun shells there. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Let's uh, focus fire this guy. No! Stop that! I told you already. Well, not you specifically. I told your friend I don't like it when you use your chest crabs. Nobody likes chest crab monsters. Are, can, you, can you just... Yeah. Put, put it away, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh, that was a waste. Let's get that shotgun shells. Hopefully it's enough shotgun shells to actually kill these guys, because otherwise it really will be completely fucking screwed. Which is not what I'm hoping for. Two shells, and uh, one... Actually, they don't seem to be coming back. Maybe I can... Straight up avoid killing those people. That would be nice. Come on. Well, I'm not being killed by zombie demon ghosts, so that's probably the best thing that's happened to me all week. What the fuck was that? Stop ring. Those stalactites better not fall down and then pale me. Oh my goodness, they didn't even fall down and then pale me a little. 
It's fucking dark in here. Oh, it's not so bad. More zombies with nail machine guns. Who gave these guys giant nail machine guns? Oh. Oh, wow, that's just how they've designed the wall in this room. I see. Who the fuck builds these things? This is just silly. Do, 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 hiding from the giant, uh, not even nails so much as they are, like, giant lances that seek to impale me. Not really the biggest fan of being impaled by lances, not gonna lie. Well, this certainly isn't a setup for something bad or spooky happening. I'm playing a horror game. Everything's a fucking setup for something spooky happening, obviously. It's kind of the whole point of the genre. I want to read the book! Not the kind of book I- oh, there's an audio log. I wonder if it tells me what the book says. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self. But there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Delicious! Jeez, that's... that was dark. I'm guessing that's what's going on in my mind. All these bosses, right? They're representations of different parts of my psyche attacking the core personality. I and mean, we've already established this whole thing is going to have something to do with the fact that our character's an alcoholic, his wife went missing, there was something about some kind of accident. Jesus! That's... Jeez, that's... Ow! Fuck! Little dudes have attitude! I don't have any grenades left. Oh wait, hang on. Hmm. Alright, I have a plan. Oh, da, 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 squashing all the tiny guys. This is my life. <laughs> uh, it started out as genuinely horrific and then it just became silly immediately. Thank you. Man, what a high tier of terror. What a frightening horror I've come into. When the little dudes were first climbing out of the wall, that's probably like the scariest fucking image this game has had so far, but... I think just run around and step on them. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, that's just silly. dropped any frames in quite a while. I guess this bit rate is uh, sustainable. That's good. Good to know. Giant crossbow. I wonder what's over here. Ah, bullets for my gun. And brain juice. My two favorite things in the entire world. Thirteen revolver bullets. Not doing too bad there. Two shotgun shells, still only flash bullets for that thing. Might as well put the sniper rifle back on my hot bar, even though I don't have any ammo for it. Well, I'm sure nothing's going to attack me as I wade through this water, unable to move quickly. I 
don't really want to waste the ammo, but... Oh, I actually can't break that. Holy shit, I have some kind of brain damage. Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Try and forget that I did that. Hello, friend. I stepped on all the little baby versions of you. How does that make you feel? You must be mad. Easy there, killer. Why did I turn my light off? For some reason, I've gotten into the habit of just turning my light off when I don't technically need it. Which is really pointless. Like, it's not like the thing runs out of light providing power. Hey, uh, big, big guy, could you kind of back off? Just gonna blind him so I can run past. Without being grabbed and murdered. Grabbed and murdered, well, a great name for a metal song, is not my favorite thing to have happen to me. I wonder what happened to Leslie. Kidman, for that matter, and uh, Dude Bro, Dude Bro the Third. We haven't seen any of them in a while. That's no, it's not Leslie. It's some kind of nurse. She's really fucking dead, though. Like way more dead than I have been in the past few minutes. Not quite as dead as I've ever been. I've died pretty hard over my long years as a gamer. I don't like the most brutal way I've ever died has been. Hmm. I don't think it'd be any of the deaths in this game. The thing near the beginning where you get chainsawed apart was kind of brutal, but... Dead Space. Dead Space had some really fucking brutal deaths. I think that might be... It'd probably be something from Dead Space, actually, but... Because I can't think of any other game that had quite that same level of brutality. Wow, that's a lot of blood. Cave Note. I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close! I notice the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? Fifty-fifty odds, and I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll let you know that you are right, and I'll never let you go. Well... I guess she made the wrong choice with which way the plate got put into the door. And also, I guess they were totally lesbians together or whatever. Should make TT these top ten brutal deaths list. Yeah, maybe. You know, Limbo. Limbo would also be a contender for possibly having my most brutal death. Also, why? What hap Why is her leg? Like that looks glitched out. Her leg is clipping through her arm. Like surely that leg is just supposed to. Oh, this is a dude. There were lesbians as a dude with long hair. And like an apron. I thought it was a lady in a dress. Anyway. Yeah, just stare at his dick. That's that's gonna help. Well, apparently it did. One side has blood streaked across it, so I now know which way to put the thing in, because I put it in. Obviously, the bloody side is the fucking side that was facing outwards when the dude killed, got killed, so I want to put it in like this. No, like, I already know that I'm flying game. I'm just not... I don't have brain damage. Anyway, welcome to the stream, as always, Drew Max. And yeah, Limbo. Limbo had some pretty brutal deaths in it. I forgot about Limbo. I think that was, uh, I think that was the first time a subscriber ever channel viewer ever gifted me a game on Steam. I 
and I played through it on the stream in uh, in one sitting. And I put it up on YouTube with a death counter that took forever to edit in. If you saw my Limbo video with, like, my Limbo Let's Play with the death counter in the corner on YouTube, just know that editing in that death counter took fucking hours. I said I was going to do it when I was streaming it. I didn't realize how long it was going to take. And I think, like, five people watched that video, but whatever. Somebody left me a really, really nice comment on the final part of the Let's Play on YouTube, though. And, like, just a really nice comment. Go and find the video. And so that actually, like, that actually made it completely worthwhile for me. Like, I, I know, I don't know, maybe it sounds, like, uh, like, stupid or whatever, but it, I don't know. When people leave me really nice comments, it makes me, it makes me Doc. feel really happy. Doc, what the hell is going on? That's There's a good no question. time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Well... <laughs> that reaction on an electrochemical level emotion memory perception everything directly it's unprecedented the implications on psychology on pharmaceuticals on consciousness itself are you serious it's a fucking nightmare well i didn't say it was perfect especially not with such a unstable host Great. That's me. That's so your me. research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. Right. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. So there's the explanation of the plot. So I was kind of right and kind of wrong. Unless this is unless like there's going to be another twist, which, you know, wouldn't be surprising if there was exactly. But I was partly correct. Also, I can't decide if that's like really stupid or kind of cool. So I'm just going to say it's it's fine. <clears throat> Journal of Sebastian Castellano. June 16th, 2009. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Mira, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seems to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course. But there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped. And Mira will help see to that. She's damn good at a job, and obviously happy to be back in her element. I always trail off at the end of my diary entries, too. Oh. Here we are, back in the, uh... Man, this is a weird theme hospital crossover game. They don't really have the same sense of humor as uh, as the original game. And, like, it's kind of weird that they replaced all the management elements. Oh, shit! This is... I'm pretty sure this is the room... Well, this hallway... is the hallway where the save room's at. The mirror is there, normally. Um... RUN! Didn't run fast enough, Seb. Ooh. You seem to be dead. Now oh, it's time to read the journal again. 
No, 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 no. First in KPCD Missing Persons Bureau. She's a damn good cop. All right, let's move on. I don't know what I did wrong last time. I was holding down the sprint button and everything. I, I was just trying to run away from whatever the fuck this thing is. This horrible demon abomination. Run! Fucking run! I love that I can't see in front of me. And now we're actually in the save room. Ruvik. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Wow, that was a short chapter. Really heavy on the story, though. I didn't even make a single save during that chapter. Aside from one at the start. Yeah, weird. That was that was a really short chapter. Huh, whatever. About ghosts. Hello, friend. Oh! Oh god, I guess I'm Zambo now. Detective Castellanos. Was that... someone else's memories? Must be, but like, I guess... A dead person's brain incorporated into the brain brains? Maybe. Hey girl, what's up? You were moaning in your sleep. Yeah, I was having one Have of those wet dream. dreams. No, it wasn't bad. <sighs> Just you know. It was exciting. No. No. Not that way. No. Not you again. Let I remember go this of me. guy. Let go of me. Hey, could you could you stop with the screams? Please refrain from agitating the others. Sorry, girl. I didn't mean to agitate him. Mm, dead butt. You don't look well at all. You look fine, though, girl. No. The lighting in here is a little bit different. Hey, the clock has moved. The clock's actually advanced by about 15 minutes since the last time I checked it. Memories are vague things indeed. Well, that's... It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. Hmm. What a weird photograph. You know, the cockroaches, like, coming out of the dude's face hole would be more scary if the cockroaches weren't just disappearing into the walls. Oh, shit, I can, like... Hi, Rubik! I guess that was his family photo. Wow, now this place is really different. Different photos. We got some nice, uh, happy flowers on the wall. That's, that's still there. So I guess that was, actually that might have been Leslie. Based on the hair color, we don't know what Rubik's hair is like on account of the hood. Leslie, we know, has blonde hair like that. So maybe... Anyway, let's go back here and see if anything's different in this area. Uh... 
I was still intending to use my brain juice and save the game, damn it. Hey, look, it's a happy flower, like we saw painted on the wall. No. No. Not that way. No. Man, this place is getting more fucked up as time goes on. Hey, Rubik. Hey, old pal. Well, I guess I missed my chance to save and use up my brain juice. That sucks. Hmm, was I here before? I remember jumping into a hole in the ground. I remember being in, you know, a creepy zone. Was it this specific creepy zone? I'm not sure. Well, let's move on. Hope you find a save room soon so that I can save my game properly. Almost time to end the part for the YouTube folks, but not quite yet. Fuck this box! Yeah, I got almost 6,000 brain juice. Too bad I didn't get to spend it until I... Because I, I went the wrong way. And here we are, outside. I've seen that house somewhere. But where? I think I have. I've never been here before, but... Hmm. How did they get here? What, crows? I would hazard a guess they flew here. Unless I was meant to be seeing somebody walking in the door, but it was blocked by the statue. In which case, good job, game developers. Always remember to explore absolutely everywhere, guys. Super important. I can just run straight through those hedges, that's good to know. Ah, uh, there's probably not gonna be anything hidden. Oh, hey, what the flippy flop? There is some kind of passageway over there. The game really just sort of draws your eye to, you know, the building, so presumably that's where I actually have to go. But, this path. The observant player is surely rewarded with some kind of hyper weapon of unbelievable strength. Bad things always happen to me, Night Odin. Literally every game I play is flooded with zombie demon ghosts, for one thing. I actually, uh, I actually have an idea of what I'm going to play through after this. I've noticed that horror games are fairly popular on YouTube and stuff like that. I think my streams are like in videos for horror are not as effective because I don't just fucking scream my head off like a 12 year old when I see a digital fucking ghost. It really pisses me off. But anyway, I might play Cry of hey, Fear after this. Stop! Damn it! I downloaded it. So um. This is just seriously reminding me of Resident Evil 1. Now what? You know, in the mansion and all. Mansion that was distinctly similar to this one. Maybe that's... Maybe, you know, that's why he's sort of saying, you know... It reminds me of somewhere. Maybe maybe it's just like meant to be an easter egg. People who played Resident Evil. Resident Evil the first. Anyway, let's go back and save our game for real now that we can. Crimson Post newspaper, newspaper clipping. Tragic fire kills child nanny in Crimson City. I guess that's probably my daughter. Yep. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, a fast-spreading house fire took the lives of a young girl and her babysitter yesterday afternoon in the Park Ridge neighborhood of Crimson City. Lily Castellanos, age 5, and her babysitter, Juanita Flores, 56, 
were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single-family home. Lily's parents, both detectives for the KCPD, rushed to the scene but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters after several hours, but the home was completely wrecked. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but initial findings point to faulty electrical wiring. So now we know what happened to the daughter, and then after, at, at some point, your wife also went missing, we learned in one of the earlier clippings. And then Den Sib became a little bit of an alcoholic, which is, you know, a real problem, and I'm glad it's one that, like, not an issue that I have. Fuck. And so this whole story is obviously going to have something to do with... Don't you think you should use your green gel? Yeah, I do think I should use my green gel. I wanted to before, but I was taken back to the ghost zone too soon. What a creepy painting. Oh, hey, another missing person thing. Ruben Victoriano, beloved son of wealthy Victoriano family, has not been seen since a fire at the family estate. How quaint. Oh, wow, lots of newspapers today. Bodies found near estate. So there's the, that's the house I'm in right now. There's a picture of it there. Identification could take weeks. Four mutilated bodies found just outside of Victoriano Estate. The bodies appear to have had various crude surgeries. Okay, so the, these are, this is the Victoriano Estate that I'm at now. So there was the fire, and before the fire, there were bodies found outside. And there's the fucking photograph. So... Either Leslie or Ruvik was part of this family. Um, I think you're meant to think it's Ruvik because you see his... F well, and it probably is because you see his face behind the child and all that. So it's probably... It's probably Ruvik, but I still think it could possibly be Leslie and Ruvik's just fucking with you. So there, there was these bodies found outside and then the house burned down. Obviously the fault of the deranged man in the photo, which I'm guessing is Rubik, or if it's Leslie, then it was probably some kind of accident. I don't know. I'm sure all will be revealed in time. It's all 17 mysterious sick 29 me for now. I'm gonna need to end this part for YouTube really soon and go get more wine. Because that one's empty, as you may have observed. But first, let's spend our brain juice. I'm not going to bother upgrading my melee damage anymore. That seems like it's a waste of my life. Uh, upgrade the fire rate from my revolver because it's a little bit not as fast as one might hope. And uh, I don't think spamming a gun more is going to help me. There's also increasing the accuracy on the revolver might be a good idea because the thing is not as accurate as I frequently want, but I think it's actually fine. What I really want to do is get these harpoon bolts so that I have fire damage, but, um... Well, that's a ways off. Can I get any of my core abilities upgraded? Right, only melee damage. I don't care about that. I mean, I could upgrade my revolver accuracy, but I don't think I really need to. I should... I'm thinking I should save some brain juice so that I can get one of these more expensive upgrades next time I come back here. i to save my brain juice. I'm fairly certain I don't have any key morgue keys, but I'm just going to go into the morgue and check. And then, uh... Then I will go and save my game, and then I will end this part. Oh, hey, yeah, I should pick up... Pick up this stuff, at least. May not have any more keys, but I can always pick up more ammo. How are we doing on the map? We haven't found very many of these map pieces. I've never really been the type of guy to search for hidden things all over the place, but I'm assuming if I filled up the map I would get something dope, but, nah. Eh. Not gonna happen on this playthrough, I can tell you that much. I'm sure I've already missed a lot of them. I wonder if this game has, like, a New Game Plus kind of thing. If I decided to play through it again. No idea. None whatsoever. Oh, it's, uh... 
save up here in a new slot, and I'm going to end the YouTube part now, and I'm going to go get something to drink, and then I will resume. Uh, let me just rename that part so that I know what I'm dealing with later. 35 minutes, good part length. This is shaping up to be a longer Let's Play than I've done in a long time. We're already up to 18 parts ready to go. I've actually got... System Shock 2 parts that I never uploaded. That's not important right now. <clears throat> What's important is that I need more wine. I'll be right back, folks. I gotta figure out how to have like a little donation tracker on the stream thing, so in the incredibly unlikely event, anybody actually like reads this thing, I'll actually know. I'd feel really bad if I didn't notice, and right now I probably wouldn't notice. Anyway, wine. Oh wait, no, I should do this the other way. Okay, where's my headset gone? I'm back, folks. I, uh... I got the rest of the bottle <laughs> so that I won't have to leave. Although I shouldn't really drink too much. I have to go to university tomorrow, but it's only midnight. I don't have to be at uni until, uh, I don't have to wake up until 10.30, so I can stay up until 2.30 and drink and still get eight hours sleep to sleep off my hangover, and I can always go to uni horribly hangover, hungover, and that's fine. Anyway, let's continue. Welcome back, YouTube folks, to part 19 of my playthrough of The Evil Within. Mwahaha. I forgot to pour my wine. <laughs> 